Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alan and welcome back to the Mr. Z's Music Lessons YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be learning the lead guitar part for Rattle by Elevation Worship. I'll have a tab running across the top of the screen for you guys throughout the video, but if you do want a PDF of a tab you can print off and look at the whole thing. That's going to be available over on Patreon. And before I can post that on Patreon, I'm still waiting to hear from the publisher on uh, the rights to use it, but I want to be sure I'm not breaking any copyright laws, so I am uh, waiting to hear from them before I post it on there. Um, so hopefully it won't be too much longer. I apologize for the delay. Um, but uh, for this song, if you want to learn like the little finger picking part, I actually made another video about that that I'll link up at the top of the screen for you guys. You can check that out. And um, I'll be making a cover video too of me running through this electric guitar part through the entire song, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. So for this song, we're going to be tuned a half step down in E flat standard tuning. So we're going to tune down to like E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. So this is in the original key that um, Hillsong does it in. So for our intro, um, we'll kind of rest for five measures while the other guitar plays the finger picking part. And then we're going to come in on an open E string. So we'll play this for two measures. I have one, two. Then after that, we'll play a harmonic on the 12th fret of the E and the 12th fret of the E, or B. So the rhythm of this intro, we we'll have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's it for our intro. Then verse one, all we're going to do is just play open E at the very beginning of it. Just kind of let it ring out for two measures. And then after that, we'll just cut out for the rest of verse 1. And then verse 2, this is where the words say, Friday's disappointment is Sunday's empty tomb. We're going to rest for most of this uh, verse as well. But then whenever they come in on the little walk down, the... That part we'll go ahead and play. And we're going to play um, the 5th fret of the E, 4th fret of the E, and then the open E. We'll do that twice. 5, 4, 0. Five, four, zero. So that's all we'll play on the intro, verse 1 and verse 2. Since those parts are pretty short, I thought I'd just go ahead and kind of cover all those together. Then we'll go over chorus 1, and I'll just run through this once for you and then walk you guys through it. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So to start that off, we're just going to play an E chord, and we're just going to strum from the E down to the G string. One, two, three, four. And we're going to come up to the seventh fret of the E string, and we'll play the seventh fret, and the fifth fret, and then open E. And the rhythm of that. We're just going to hold open E. One, two, three, four, then seven, five, zero again. And we're going to play some power chords. We'll play a C sharp power chord. B power chord, then this A, chord, we're going to hit the open A, 2nd fret of the D, 4th fret of the G, all together, and we're back to our E chord, the E again, and our next little walk down is 5, 4, 0, we're going to do this three times. That's it for chorus one. Then I'll run through verse three, so it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So to walk you through that just really quickly, we're gonna start off on an E chord and hold it for two measures. We have one, two, three. Then we'll go up and make like a C-sharp minor 7 shape. So we're going to hit the 4th fret of the A string, 6th fret of the D string, and the 5th fret of the B string. 
the rhythm of that, those are eighth notes, so it's like one and two. We're gonna go down to a B power chord. Three and four. So the rhythm of that measure is like one and two, three and four, and our walk down. And that's it for verse three. Then verse four is where the song really starts to build and get really loud. So let me just run through this for you. We're gonna start off on a big E chord with lots of overdrive. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so we'll play that E chord for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then we'll come up to the seventh fret of the D string. Then we'll hit the fifth fret of the B string. Then we're going to slide from 7 to 9 on the D. Then we'll hit the 7th fret of the B string. Then we'll slide from 9 to 11. So, so far we have... Then we'll hit the 9th fret of the B. 9th fret of the G. 11th fret of the D. So that little riff goes... And we'll go down to 7, 8, and 9. This last little part, we'll hit the 7th fret of the D string, 6th fret, 9th fret of the G, and 7th fret of the A. We're going to kind of hold those two notes together. So let's run through this verse one more time, just real quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it for verse 4. For chorus 2, we just have a bunch of really big power chords, so let me run through that part for you. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. To start off on that, we're going to play an E power chord down here on the second fret of the A and the D strings. Two, three, four. Then we'll play a B power chord on seven and nine. And then an A power chord on five and seven. And then back to our E power chord. Then E power chord again. Then back up to B, A, back to E. Then we'll play a C sharp power chord. Power chord, and an A chord, and an E, E one more time, and then 5 4 E chord, and 5 4 E chord. And the very last time I play that little riff, the 5 4, it is actually a 2 4 measure. It took me forever to figure that out. It was like, I was so confused about the rhythm of this part because it just threw me off. Um, but it's because there's only two beats in that measure. So it's like one and two and one. And then it goes right back to four, four right after that. Uh, so that's it for the second chorus. And right after that chorus, there's a short little interlude break. And for that part, we're going to rest for two measures. Then after that, we'll come in on some harmonics on the 12th fret of the E and the 12th fret of the B. Then we'll hit the open E string. Let it ring for two measures. And then we're going to strum an E chord and like do an up strum kind of slowly. Okay, so let me run through this uh, interlude. So after two measures of rest, then on the third measure we come in. So it's like one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. Then open E. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then an E chord. One, two, three, four. Then after that, we just cut out um, all the way until we hit the bridge. For the first time through the bridge, we're going to just rest all the way until the words say, just ask the stone. So whenever it really starts to build, that's where we'll come in. And let me just run through it once for you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So 
we start off with our little walk down. I'm doing five, four, and then E chord. Do that four times. And after we've done that four times, we're going to play like an A power chord, five and seven. Go ahead and use your first finger and the pinky this time. Then we're going to go down to four and seven. Then down to an E power chord. We're going to jump up an octave up to the next E power chord. And we're going to strum. Uh, so it's like up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that little riff goes. Do this three times. Then on the fourth time, we're going to go down to a C sharp uh, power chord, into a B power chord, into an A power chord. So it's like. And then A will just let it ring all the way until we hit the chorus again. So that's it for the first time through the bridge. For the third time through the chorus, it's pretty simple and very similar to what we've already done. So let me just run through it one time for you, and that's all we'll do on this chorus. One, two, three, four. That's it for chorus three. For bridge two, we're going to use a slide, and I'll put a link down in the description to the type of slide that I'm using. And for this part, I'm no expert at playing with a slide or anything, so no promises that it's going to sound amazing. Um, I won't be able to help a ton with the technique, but I did spend a lot of time figuring out the frets for this part, and I think that's right, and the rhythm is right. So hopefully, at least give you guys a, a starting point <laughs> for this section. And this is where they're singing like I hear the sound over and over again, and there's just kind of a bunch of like random noises and stuff going on. So I'm just going to run through it. I probably won't explain it a whole lot. Uh, but whenever we do the slides down, we're just going to slide down like really slowly. So you kind of watch out for that. But here we go. I'll count as I'm going just to help with the rhythm. So we're going to come in on beat two um, after we sort of rest for two measures. So it would be like one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. And one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. All right, so hopefully that gives you guys a rough idea of that. And feel free to run through that as many times as you need to with the counting to get the rhythm. That's it for bridge two. For bridge three, we won't use the slide anymore, and this is where they're singing and the bones begin to rattle. And uh, for this part, we're playing 16th notes, just kind of an overdriven riff. It's a lot of fun to play, though. Uh, so here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. Basically, we just repeat that uh, riff four times in a row. We're going to start on the fifth fret of the B string, and we're going to go back and forth between B and E. One E and the two E and the. Then we'll slide down to the third fret, same rhythm. Three E and the four E and the. Down to the second fret. One E and the two E and the. Then to the first fret. Three E and the four E and the. Just do that four times. Third time. Last time. That's it for bridge three. Next we'll go over bridge four, and this is where they're screaming live really loudly. <laughs> and for this part, just again, lots of overdrive. And I'll just run through it once and then walk you guys through it. But it's very straightforward. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We repeat this four times. Last time. One, two, three, four, then it's octaves. So, to help you guys out with this part, it's basically kind of two different sections. Uh, whenever they're doing the really big drum hits, we're going to hit two open E's. You can palm mute those if you want. Then we'll play an E power chord. Kind of slide down, so it's like... And then the second time whenever we do it, we just hold it a little bit longer. One, two, three, four. So it's like one E, two, three, E, four. One, two, three, four. One E, two, three, E, four. One, two, three, four. So we basically do that riff four times. Then after that, we're going to go to octaves, starting off on the 7th fret of the A and the 9th fret of the G. We're strumming 16th notes, 1 E and the 2 E and the 5 and 7, 3 E and the 4 E and the 4 and 6, 1 E and the 2 E and the 3 and 5, 3 E and the 4 E and the repeat it. So basically it's that palm muted part four times, and then the octave riff two times. And that's it for bridge four. And that brings us to chorus four, which is the like last time through the chorus, kind of the very end of the song. And I'll just run through this one for you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think I'll walk you guys through that part since it just kind of combines things that we've already done throughout other parts of the song. So hopefully that part's not too hard for you guys. Oh, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope it helped you learn the song. And then don't forget if you want to learn um, some of the other guitar parts, I did make a video for that like finger picking part. And then also I uh, made a video for the acoustic part as well if you want to watch that. Um, and I have this one labeled as the lead guitar part, but I get, I don't know, they're kind of both sort of e equal playing field they both have some lead parts and then they both have some kind of more rhythm based things so i guess you could just call them guitar one and two instead of rhythm and lead but anyway too late to go back and change that now <laughs> um, but hope you guys enjoyed it um also don't forget uh, you can check out my other channels i have another channel called the stinky shack where we are rebuilding my in-laws house right now after it was hit by a tornado so that's been a very busy project and has been taking up some time um, obviously, because remodeling a house is a you know a big time-consuming thing. Um, but that is uh, down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Then I also have another channel where I post uh, piano videos, like of classical music, video game music, and film music. So feel free to watch those. Uh, also, I apologize again about the tab not being on Patreon just yet, but I always want to do things the right way, even if it takes a little bit longer. So hopefully that'll be up soon. I'll uh, keep you guys updated down in the description and in the comments. As soon as that's available, I'll let you know. Well, thanks again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe if you're new here. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, you can always hit the notification bell. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one.